YouTubers Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thank you for watching. If you've got a brand new reverse osmosis system and the faucet is making a suction sound or crackling sound, that's the air gap of the actual faucet. There is an option to get rid of that and it's called a bypass kit. In this video, I want to show you it. Let's take a look. Alright YouTubers inside the kitchen now, we have a GE reverse osmosis system and here's a pictorial image of it as you can see. And there is the specific part number for your reference. In a previous video, we talked about the pros and cons, and there are a lot of pros. We do really like this system. However, there are a couple cons, one of which is this air gap system. And to their defense, I understand this. This is part of recent code regulations in certain local areas or states, which means, yes, that has to be there. However, that is not required in all areas nor states. And because of that, there are online plumbing departments or vendors that do manufacture a bypass kit. And that's what we want to talk about in this video. So take a listen to that little air gap. And what's happening right now is the drain water is coming out of the membrane and making its way all the way back up into the base of the faucet and then looping over into a small cup and this faucet is bringing in air inside that air gap and that is allowing the system to properly breathe and that drain water enters a different tube and is drained into your lower plumbing down below completely removing itself from your reverse osmosis system to alleviate any backflow of dirty water that can contaminate your system you definitely don't want that however Right here is your bypass kit and it's very simple to install. You've got a nut, you've got a few screws, and this is your drain adapter. That is the little cushion padding that creates that watertight seal on the inner portion here. And your quarter inch tube goes in one end of the one-way check valve, which is the heart of the system or the kit, and out. And what I want to show you is that little arrow. See a little arrow right there? That is going to always point in the direction to your drain adapter. And this line will be red in our case because this is the system we have and the drain line is red feeding out of the back portion of the filter case, making its way to the faucet and then it hops over that little ledge into the cup and then it enters the black line down below. Let's go down below and check it out. On the right hand side, we've got our filter case and we've got the tubes coming all the way out. And all the way upstream of our P-trap is our drain adapter and our storage tank. Let me turn on the light and let's get in and check this out. So again, see the blue line and the red line way back there, as well as that black line feeding off of your drain adapter right in front of us. Those three tubes, they go all the way up to your faucet. And that drain water I was just talking about up top is removing itself from the membrane inside that filter case and going out that red line, going all the way up to the faucet and then turning over and draining in this black tube all the way right here. And then it's going down into your P-trap and exiting your system way back there. So with this bypass kit, what you'll first do is close your cold water shutoff valve, cut all incoming water to your system, turn on your faucet and let your faucet run until the system or tank is completely empty. At that point, keep your faucet on. You also want your cold water faucet of your main on to alleviate any additional water in your main faucet as well as pressure come down below once it's empty and you will remove the original drain adapter that came with the reverse osmosis system and you will remove the black drain line as well as the red drain line from your faucet. Now once you get those removed, the black line becomes obsolete. You can toss that. However, the red line is very important. That's your quarter inch drain line that the water is coming out of your membrane. And what you would do is you will then feed that red line into the back portion of this one-way check valve. And again, the arrow points to your drain adapter. You will then remove this drain adapter and you will install the quarter inch drain adapter. The reason why you have to install this is because the inlet hole is built for quarter inch line, which again is that red line. However, this is a 3 8 diameter hose or tube and that will not fit into this connection. So again, you have to install this. Let's talk a little bit more about this check valve. What are the main purposes of check valves? Well, it allows water or fluid to enter in one direction and flow in one direction only, meaning it's going to enter on the right side here or the base portion of that arrow, and it's going to go through a little flap or check valve section. And once that water is past that little portion, it cannot backflow or flow the opposite direction, which is awesome. 
So that alleviates your air gap because at that point, you no longer have that red quarter inch drain line nor that black drain line connected to your faucet, just the blue one, which is your good reverse osmosis clean drinking water. So I just wanted to share with you that option. Here's the kicker for us. Unfortunately, our local area does not allow the bypass kit, meaning the check valve. It does require per coded regulation, our system to have an air gap. So you may ask us, well, why don't you just install the bypass kit anyways? Well, in the event that we want to sell this house down the road and we have it inspected or the purchasers or buyers have it inspected and someone takes a look under there and really knows what they're looking at, they'll see that and they will see a bypass kit and they may ding us for it. However, that bypass kit is legal and an awesome option to add to your system to alleviate that air gap sounds in the event that your area allows it. I can promise you one thing, in the event that our area did allow it, that would be installed in a heartbeat, trust me. However, I just wanted to talk about that bypass kit, show you that it is an option. Hopefully you live in an area that will allow it. If you don't, well, welcome to the club, you're with us. You're kind of just stuck with that sound. Some people have told us that, well, we get used to it. We'll see in a few weeks if we do. That would be cool, hopefully we do, and we can tone out that sound. So hopefully this helps YouTubers. Hey, do us a favor, below the video, you will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely go to your settings, turn on your YouTube notifications notification bell. Once you do that, every video that we upload, you will be notified. You will be able to stay up to date with us and that will be awesome. Thanks again for watching. And one more thing, we've got a video on the pros and cons of this system and we also have a video on the step-by-step -step process on how to properly and safely install this entire system. And what I will do is I will post links down below in the comments section as well as the description section for your convenience. Definitely check those out.